Hi everyone, Wonia Thibault here with Buckskin Revolution, and I wanted to share with you a great technique for storing meat long term if you don't have access to freezer space and you don't want a whole deer worth of jerky. Pressure canning is a particular technique that allows you to can those foods that would be dangerous to can with just a boiling water bath, which would be the standard for pickles and jams and tomatoes and that kind of thing. So when you're cooking low acid foods, then those can potentially have botulism if you store them in just jars, just water bath. Botulism is a bacteria that will grow, oh good, yes, yeah, scrape along the camera legs and make them jiggle. Yes, it's a good kitten. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Ginger. <laughs> I just wiped all of the blood off of them yesterday, so that's maybe part of it. <laughs> the cat is rubbing itself on the legs of my camera. Sorry. Um, so botulism is a is an organism that grows in no oxygen environments without acid. So if you're canning fruits or tomatoes or pickles or something that's high in acid, botulism can't live. But as soon as you have something that's lower in acid, then you either have to add a bunch of acid or do a whole different technique to can them. And that looks like getting the temperature much higher than boiling water can get on its own. And that means using a pressure canner because when we have contents under pressure, it drives up the boiling point of water. Just like water boils at a lower temperature if you go up in elevation, so like in the mountains you have to boil your water longer to sterilize it, the boiling temperature goes up if you were to go down towards the center of the earth. Going down to the center of the earth is not usually very practical, so a pressure canner is a great way to give you the same conditions on your stovetop. So pressure canners are fancy contraptions that look like this. So you have a gasket and a seal and usually a meter on top that tells you how high the pressure is getting. And with this, we can can our meat with temperatures far higher than we could ever get if we were just boiling water. So great technique and great way that you can preserve an entire deer in quart jars that will last for a really long time.